Okay, Imani, thank you for doing the interview. You're welcome. Um, if you're comfortable answering, I'd like to ask how you identify. I identify as openly gay or some will know as lesbian. Okay. And um, what are some things that teachers can do here at Canyon Springs uh, to make you feel more comfortable in the classroom? Well, one thing I believe that a teacher can do is not assume that somebody is gay or assume that somebody is openly gay because not everybody knows and sometimes people want to keep it to themselves and also like stop like the homophobic slurs so like saying that's gay or calling somebody a fag because s some people get so emotional about it that they don't know how to deal okay. and uh, when you said don't assume that that students um, are out or don't don't assume that they're gay would it be okay for a teacher to ask a student if they're gay? Well, not in front of everybody. Like, if they believe that they could pull somebody aside without them getting emotional or defensive about it, then yes, but it's kind of their own space. So if they're willing to tell you, then they will. If they don't come up to you and tell you, then I think you should just leave it alone. Okay. And is there anything else you want to add? Um, well, I was talking to one of my best friends, and we were talking about being gay. And so I know it's kind of hard that I am a woman or a young lady and I am a minority. And so it's also hard being black um, and a young woman and also being gay because the society doesn't think that's fit for somebody like me, I should say. So like with the whole Bible thing, people just think that it's just a boy and a girl and no girl and girl or boy and boy. And that's just not how society works now. So.